that's me freshman year of college. I know it looks like I'm enjoying myself in that picture, but today I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth is that I was suffering from depression. Now for me, depression wasn't just something that I had, but it defined who I was. It defined the way that I saw the world, defined the way that I saw myself, defined the way that I acted. It forced me to believe that my life was worthless, that there was no light at the end of the tunnel, there was no getting better, and that the only way I could survive was by ending my own life. This is Ben. Ben is a 26-year-old clinician from Padere, northern Uganda. Ben is also a former child soldier. At just nine years old, Ben was abducted from his family and forced into war. A war filled with rape, murder, forced cannibalism, and struggle. I'm telling you about Ben because it's Ben in his story that saved my life. When I met Ben in Padere in the summer of 2012, he was the only clinician working at a small clinic. Ben was working 16 to 18 hour days. He was paying for some patients out of pocket. The guy was barely sleeping, he was barely eating. He was devoting every single part of his life to serving his community. And when I asked Ben, you know, why don't, why don't you go somewhere you can make a better life for yourself, make more money? Ben told me that he couldn't. That when he graduated clinical school, he realized the potential that he had as one individual to make a huge difference in the lives of his people. And when the opportunity presented itself, it wasn't an option for Ben. It's his responsibility to go back and serve his people. So here you had Ben, someone who suffered unimaginable struggles, had his livelihood torn from underneath his feet, and fought for his life all the way through. Ben's life meant something to him. Then you had me, who, despite having an amazing life, wanted to throw it away like it was trash. I wanted to throw it away because I didn't believe in my own potential, because I didn't think that I had a reason to be alive. Ben proved me wrong. Ben showed me that you can come from the, from the darkest depths. It doesn't matter where you are but you can rise out of it. and You can make something of yourself. I kind of, I started to believe this a little bit, but it didn't really make sense to me until I watched Ben perform surgery. For one second, I want you to imagine needing surgery. Then imagine a clinician operating on you by candlelight while you lie on a rusted wire bed frame. Ben was forced to carry out surgeries under these conditions, in the dark with one little light to show him the way. Watching this at such a critical point in my life, the light emanating from that candle meant so much more to me. That candle became the potential that I had as a human being to change the world around me and light up the world. And that flame was the action, the action that I needed to set that change in motion, unleash my potential. Now, given I didn't really know how to do that, <laughs> I did the best way I could. I joined up with Ben and five other clinicians from Northern Uganda, and together we founded the Northern Uganda Medical Mission, an organization that focuses on addressing the issue and the darkness that is healthcare in Padere, Northern Uganda. We founded New Mem with the inspiration and the belief that every single person in this world deserves a chance at realizing their own potential. Now, New Mem started on a piece of paper, but that piece of paper quickly led to ideas, and those ideas soon led to actions. And before we knew it, we had established partnerships, we had created a website, and built a business plan. And with just under $3,000, we had opened New Mem Healthcare Center on May 20th, 2013. Now, at New Mem Healthcare Center, we don't use candles. 
We have solar energy. At New Mem Healthcare Center, we have hands-free washing stations where there's no running water. And at New Mem Healthcare Center, we brought the first working ultrasound to a district of over 240,000 people. If I decided to take my own life at 18 years old, that decision would have defined me. Conversely, it was my decision to live and my decision to ultimately give life that defines who I am standing here today. Through my whole bout with depression, I never was able to see that light at the end of the tunnel. It took me meeting Ben to realize that that potential I'd been searching for all along was right here. It was me. I just failed to recognize it for way too long. You know, looking back on it, I never really needed to go to Uganda. That wasn't what it was about. It was about me taking a step outside of myself, walking into the world and letting the world show me who I was, and realizing that, you know, there was something I could contribute to the world, that I was worth something, that if I wanted to contribute to the world, I had to be alive. Now, I don't want you to have to wait like I did. I want you to realize right now that you have so much to offer the world. And believe me when I tell you that somebody out there needs you. That you may not know them today, you may not know them for 10 years. But know that you have the potential to meet their needs to light their candle and your own. Now, why wait, right? I want you guys to reach into your bags, pull out the tea lights that you received, turn them on and place them above your head. All right, just take a second and look around. With that one little action, with the flip of a switch, we were able to light up this entire auditorium. Believe me when I tell you that's only the beginning, and that with the realization of our own potentials, and by working together, the light and the change that we can bring into this world is truly unlimited. Thank you.